So Johnson, welcome back to Rotherham United. How pleased are you to, to be back here with the Millers? Yeah, absolutely. I think it was an easy decision uh, for me to come back. Um, obviously, I've got history at the club before when I was much younger. Um, I've had to go out and play some games um, after when I had a, a terrible injury when I was here. So I feel like I've definitely got unfinished business. It's a move that, as you say, it's materialised really quickly. Could you just give us a brief timeline of how this has sort of materialised? Um, well, I spoke to the boss recently and um, you know, he identified that he wanted to bring me to the club um, and the boss knows what I think of him. I spoke to him a numerous amount of times since I left here when I was young. Um, so we've always stayed in touch and um, it's an absolute pleasure to play for him again and uh, come back to the Millers and hopefully I can finish off what I started. As you've just mentioned there, you are linking back up with Steve Evans and it, it sounds like he was a pretty big factor in your decision to come back. Absolutely, that was, um, that was massive for me um, because the mutual respect is there as well and I've got a lot of time for the boss and, and we get along but you know, um, I know what I'm getting from him as a manager, I know what I'm getting from him um, on the pitch so you know, it's something um, I'm looking forward to experiencing again. Do you think he's somebody that's going to get the best out of your game? Yeah, absolutely. I've, I've did the, the other side of my game. You know, um, I think everybody knows that I'm a battler, I'm a goal scorer. It's just that final parts um, that I might need to tidy up because um, it's going to be a difficult. It's going to be a different season to the one that I've had last year. Um, you know, I know what type of football the Mill is like. I know what type of football Steve Evans likes. So. Listen, I'm, I'm happy to get back involved. Um, again, just touching upon the, the speed of the move, it's, is that an indication of just how excited you are about what the manager is looking to build here? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, he's identified clearly what he, wants to, what he wants to do this season and I fully believe him as well. That's why I've not, made, um, I've not wasted no time of getting up the road and uh, getting this done. As mentioned, this is your second spell here. What do you think is sort of the key difference between the Johnson Clark Harris that left Rotherham United to the Johnson Clark Harris that has now returned to Rotherham United? Well, now I'm. Uh, I, th I feel like I'm confident to say, confidently enough to say this that I'm a serious striker in this division, you know, and I'm definitely a player that could. Um, well, I'm definitely a player that could potentially help this club get back to where they belong. And. You won't have been short of offers anyway, but how nice is it to have secured your future as early as this? Yeah, it's always nice. My plan this year was never to go on holiday. Um, you know, I've always said I was going to stay working. Um, but when you're out of contract as a player, um, you know, there's always that doubt and that fear that you might not get an offer, you might not get a club, because there's so many good players out there on who, who, ain't, who ain't got a club, you know. Um, so, listen, I'm, I'm fortunate to be in this position as well. You've been chasing promotion from League One for the last couple of seasons now with, with, with Peterborough, but does the fact that Rotherham United's ambitions are to do just that, does that match your own? Absolutely. Look, my, when I got relegated with Peterborough, it was always to get back, uh, back to the Championship. Um, and then we nearly got there. Um, and then to be, I've had two really tough seasons, so, but being at the top end of the division is definitely somewhere where I want to be. Obviously, you've got nothing to prove in terms of the goals that you've scored in recent seasons, but I found it interesting that you say that you, you sort of mean business when you're coming back. Do you, do you feel like there is some sort of element of unfinished business here at Rotherham United? Yeah, absolutely. Because if you look at when I left, I, I, was, I needed minutes, I needed game time. I came back from an ACL injury. Um, the situation at the club was in then was a complete different situation to what we was in now. Um, I did my injury at the start of pre-season, and by the time the other manager came in, he had his own ideas. I wanted game time. He couldn't give me game time, so I had to. I had to move on. Um, and I and I felt like it was the best thing for me at that stage, uh, in the time of my career as well, because I needed minutes, and um, I proved what I could do when I got the minutes as well. So yeah. Finally, you've been incredibly prolific since you departed here, especially at League One level. Do you have your eyes on winning another Golden Boot this season? Yeah, absolutely. Um, without a doubt, I see myself, if I would have played um, the season just gone in League One, the amount of games that I wanted to play and probably should have played, I'm pretty sure I would have won it as well when I looked at the um, amount of um, goals that were scored by Alfie May. Quality striker, but I've, 
I just always back myself to go out there and beat them.